What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with Darian's Pokemon. Going to be doing another digital pack opening today. Today, I've got 74 random packs on PTCGO, and I'm excited to crack these. Got everything from Steam Siege, some Roaring Skies, a Primal Clash, some random stuff in here. Phantoms, uh, what? Phantom Forces, one Crimson Invasion again, and then 12 Shining Legends packs. Going to start things off with the Shining Legends today and see what I can rip. Last time, I got my fourth or fifth Zoroark GX. That is really sweet because now I can use one of those to trade away for something else that's good. Maybe I can get a nice Shining Pokemon. I actually don't have too many Shining Pokemon in my collection right now, so that would be a dope addition to my digital collection for sure if i get something like that last time i also got that secret rare mewtwo the test tube mewtwo that thing is super sweet so oh we got an ente gx our good old friend ente now he is one of like the legendary dogs right and i've always heard them referred to as the legendary dogs but there's actually ooh, we got a shining genesec genesec that is amazing awesome rip there great addition to my collection there definitely stoked on that but uh, i've always heard as like ente raikou and suicune as referred to oh my gosh we got another zorark gx these packs are busted oh that's our sixth zorark gx i'm going to be able to trade that oh my gosh amazing stuff there Six, we're only like six or six packs through those Shining Legends, and we hit hot fire so far off. And a Mewtwo. Oh my gosh, these things are loaded. What? I mean, that's insane. Maybe if I get, if I could trade for some like more Genesects, maybe I could build that Genesect deck. That would be pretty sweet. Actually, get that going on the competitive channel. I've wanted to build it i just have not had the cards for it and haven't put it at the top of my priority list since the genesex are actually low-key a little hard to trade for and i don't even have a full set of glaceons yet so if i could get some glaceons today too that would be amazing just allow me to build a lot of different decks especially my friend otto's top eight deck from charlotte that would be incredible if i could get that added into my deck collection but i mean we're starting things off strong here i mean what four hits out of the shining legends packs that is totally nuts and a zorark gx just totally totally amazing great start to things here so looks like we're going to be doing the digital pack thing like once a week it's a lot of fun for me i mean i love it because the digital packs get to go to like my own collection this is my account at enjoy friend enjoy friend so it's like usually when i'm doing pack openings you know i don't get to keep the cards we sell the cards but these on the other hand these bad boys get to be mine let's do burning shadows next we got 10 packs of burning shadows Today has been a pretty chill day so far here at the home studio, especially because I had a snow day. Now, not everybody's familiar with what a snow day is. Some people that live where it snows all the time may not be familiar, but a snow day is when I get off of school because it snowed too much. I actually got like halfway to work today and I was gonna be late. I'm a teacher for those of you guys that don't know. So I teach, that's that's why I was going to school. So I was going to school and I called the, the secretary to let her know that I was gonna be a few minutes late and the secretary answers the phone and is like, Mr. Mahone, you don't have school today. And I was like, what? Oh, this is insane. I had actually just changed my phone number. So the number that they usually text, send out like a mass text to let everybody know that there is a snow day. I didn't actually get that text. Ooh, we got a Guzma, but not too much else. I didn't get that max text, mass text. So I ended up halfway to work before I realized that I had a snow day today. But I needed that. I have been just so sleep deprived lately. Just so much stuff going on. Getting back from regional championships and so on and so forth. And just working on both channels. Grad school work and other stuff. I've just got so much going on that I have not been sleeping. It feels like for months since like the beginning of the year. I have not been sleeping all that much. Probably averaging like five to six hours a night. So 
getting that snow day was just so clutch. Oh my gosh. I literally came back, enjoyed my, you know, got my videos uploaded for the day. And oh my gosh, a full art guardy. That is sick. I think I actually only have three guardies on here right now. So getting that fourth guardy is insane and definitely needed for my collection. Also, guardy is still kind of a hot pull here on PTCGO. So that is fantastic. Love the full art art on this thing. That looks dope that thing is incredible sick rip awesome 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 there i think that was on our last pack of burning shadows right so that was our last one we hadn't gotten any other pulls so we're at like five hits right now i think we got four out of the shining legends i'm actually going to keep track of this we got four out of shining legends and then we got one out of burning shadows uh i'm going to keep track by writing down notes so that way i can fully recap at the end because it's it's not like i could just lay all the cards out and stuff like that but yeah the snow day was dope because i just slept i just got to sleep all day i've got an essay to write tonight for my graduate school class i've got videos to film but the sleep that was i mean that was the next level maneuver there definitely got to just sleep in and i can't remember the last time i've slept in to be honest i desperately needed it Ooh, we got Tauros GX. I love this card. Tauros is my mom's favorite Pokemon. I actually have a little Tauros collection going on. I and I I may just eventually start to try and grow that Tauros collection to be as big as my escape board and my Misty's Determination collections. I have probably uh, probably like 20 or 30 Tauros, so that would be pretty cool to start a Tauros collection as well. I just love the art on this thing. Uh, my mom likes Tauros because she like kind of grew up in like a farm area and stuff like that. So she likes she likes that kind of stuff, farm animals. So she thinks Tauros is really cool. So I collect Tauroses because, you know, I love my mom. So that's, that's why I collect Tauroses. One pack of Crimson Invasion. Let's see what we can get out of here. A Rainbow Rare Buzzwell. Mm, full art Buzzwell. That'd be pretty sweet. Buzzwool has gone up in price pretty considerably lately. One pack of Primal Clash. Oh, I got to write down. I got my one Tauros. One Tauros. And uh, it has gone up in price. I mean, it's like a $15 card now. Carbink Break is... Ooh, we got an Aggron EX out of our one pack of Primal Clash. Uh, so we got one Aggron. Cool, cool, cool. And that's that's funny. I mean, our, I don't even remember this guy because Primal Clash came out so long ago. I forgot about Mega Aggron. He did not really have too much time in the sun, but a cool Pokemon nonetheless. Like, I haven't really spent a lot of time looking at Aggron, but look at that steel beastly looking dude with them horns and those blue eyes and those like metal teeth. Crazy looking dude. Crazy, crazy looking guy. And that's what I part of what I love about the Pokemon trading card game is that it gets you to appreciate Pokemon that you might not have appreciated just from playing through the video games. It gets you to look at different Pokemon in a different kind of way. Like Buzzwool, for instance. Like I love Buzzwool now, and I love Carbink too, but I might not have known anything or really grown to appreciate those Pokemon if it wasn't for the trading card game. I think like playing through the Sun and Moon video game, like maybe I would have liked them a little bit, but not really. I, th I think Buzzwool kind of I just thought was just this goofy looking guy. But now that he's got an amazing card on on the trading card game, it really makes me appreciate Buzzwool in a whole different way same with carbank i really wouldn't have given carbank any mind but now i just totally love carbank because carbank has won me just like so many games in tournaments and things like that and it's just done me so well that now i just feel like i got this bond with carbank like carbank is my dude love carbank Ooh, we got a bee drill. All right, no Misty's Determinations there. All right, to finish things off, we've got 25 packs of Ultra Prism and 19 packs of Guardians Rising. I'm going to crack these Guardians Rising first. As I said in my last collection video, I've only got three copies of Tapu Lele GX. So if I could get a fourth Lele, that would be absolutely nutty. Starting things off with Toxapex. All right, Toxapex. You could go into the digital abyss that is my collection and probably will never find your way out. That is the one thing about your collection on PTCGO is I feel like they could probably do a little bit of a better job allowing you to look at your collection in kind of like a binder form or something like that. Like That would be cool if they had digital binders or some sort of digital way to really 
you know, look at your collection and things like that. I think that that would be cool. Like they do have, you know, you could scroll through your collection, sure. But I feel like a binder, like a digital binder would be super sweet for sure. Got a lot of fun and exciting things coming up for Dariums here. We've got, I think, PSA graded returns are coming back. So that, I'm just like so, so excited about that. I've got a number of PSA graded cards that, uh, or cards that I want to get PSA graded myself. I'm trying to get a whole ton of my Misty's collection PSA graded, which is gonna be pretty expensive, I think because of the way that we got things worked out with them we can get them graded at something like eight bucks or something like that so if i want to grade a hundred misties and i have like 130 it's gonna cost me like 800 bucks but i'm not gonna grade all my misties determinations i'm probably just gonna grade the ones that like look like they could get an eight nine or a ten not really interested in getting any grades back that are below an eight i really want like all nines and tens so i'll probably will just pick out my favorite 20 or 25 maybe 30 and just get those graded that's not so bad like under 200 bucks and that way i could just have them you know and they'll be in that graded case forever and that to me is just like super sweet like really really cool and then also would love to get some of my secret rare escape boards graded as well i have like over 20 of those now so that collection is coming on amazing i'm really really stoked about those and i think I gotta figure out like what Tauros I wanna collect because I think I would love to get a collection going of those Tauros now that I'm thinking about that just because Tauros is awesome. I also picked up uh, Sneasel EX. Like I would love to have like a Sneasel collection too, I think maybe like, but I just love the Sneasel EXs and like the, the old ones from like the fire red leaf green era. I don't remember what set it was in, but those old Sneasel EXs, I would like love to have a collection of those, but those are like really hard to get. Like the Rocket Sneasel EX is like 30 bucks. So that's not like the easiest card to get a lot of. In fact, it's just like really tough to find. So maybe, I mean, even though that's like one of my favorite cards ever printed, I don't actually even own one of those Rocket Sneasel EXs. So I have two regular Sneasel EXs, but they're both in pretty shoddy condition. They're not very well uh they're not very well off so they're kind of like eh they're kind of played condition i guess i would say so it's yeah it, it's something that's on my mind of other cards to collect didn't get too much out of those i don't think we got anything out of those guardians rising packs so that was a little bit of a bust but i still feel like we're doing okay so far we've got what four five six seven seven hits so that's actually not great considering we've probably gone through about 50 packs and we're only at seven hits. So our shining legends were like super busted and then everything else has kind of been like, nah, you know, fine. Let's see if we can pull out of here with some ultra prism, get a couple full art Cynthia, something like that. That would be insane. I would love full art Cynthia for my collection to just i don't know bling out my deck maybe i end up trading them though i don't have too many other full art supporters and things like that that is something that i have started picking up more of those full art supporters i picked up randomly full art gardenia at the charlotte regional championships just because i wanted it Ooh, we got an escape board and what else do we get in this pack oh a drampa skateboard best hit ever but uh yeah like i said i've been picking up full art supporters just because i think that they're like a pretty Ooh, we got super boost energy i'll write that down under the ultra prism we got one so far super boost energy i guess it's kind of like a half hit like uh, i don't really know if the super boost energy counts we'll count it as half the prism cards they're not like the rarest cards ever but they are a little something something but as I was saying, we got a, a Gardenia full art. I also picked up another Lusamine full art that I ended up trading for at Charlotte. So I have two full art Lusamines now. I don't have any of the other one from Crimson Invasion. Another escape board and a Frost Rotom and a Shebe. Shaman, 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 Shaman. So I think that the full art supporters are a great investment though. As I've said, double order pad and i think that you know odds are they'll end up going up in price in the future and they're just like 
they're cool too, just to have in my collection. So I, I am appreciating them from an aesthetic standpoint. I think that they're just awesome cards to collect. I also have a full art Brock. I, you know, I'm kind of moseying along in the collecting of those. Oh my gosh, we got a secret rare unit energy check. That thing out, sick card. Very, very cool, definitely tradable. It's not really useful yet. Like there hasn't been a super big use found for that card in competitive play, but hey, I can't complain. Secret Rare Rip on PTCGO, definitely don't mind it. Ramperdos was a deck that some people were talking about heading into the Charlotte Regional Championships. Ramperdos combined with Talonflame Break, actually. And the crazy thing about that deck is that you actually, you play like four Talonflames with that. They have the ability to allow you to just start Talonflame if you start in your opening hand. And then you play, ooh, we got a Cyrus. Okay, so that's three hits so far out of the Ultra Prism, or two if you just count the Prisms as half hits. But that's fine. I mean, we, we got four hits out of our seven packs of Shining Legends earlier, so maybe we can represent... Uh, maybe we can get that going again in our final 10 packs here. That would be sick. But the Ramperdose deck is cool because it doesn't mess with Talonflame, right? Because you want to start Talonflame. So you only play like two Fletchling in there. And then you play four of the Fossils, the Unidentified Fossils. And those don't count as basic Pokemon. Dawn Wings, Necrozma. Got another Dawn Wings, Necrozma. That's four hits so far. Or... I guess two and a half if you count the, if you count the prisms as half. Sick rips, uh, but yeah, the unidentified fossils don't count as basics. So, ooh, a Luna. Okay, okay. I see you, Ultra Prism. We're not doing so bad. We're not doing so bad at all. Pretty good. Three prisms and two hits. I could deal with that with like eight packs remaining. But as I was saying before, I started hitting so many hits is that the unidentified fossils don't count as basic, so they actually allow you to start Talonflame more often. But even with that, you still only start Talonflame maybe like 60%, 70% of the time. So a third of the games, you don't start Talonflame. And then in a regional championship, that can easily turn into two games in a row where I didn't start Talonflame. And games where you don't start Talonflame can just be a disaster. It is a cool deck though. You use like counter energies, another super boost crazy 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 so we're getting a good amount of hits out of these ultra prism just not the hits we want or the hits we need but i am just still super stoked about those oh and a <laughs> okay and a dialga gx that's our seventh hit out of ultra prism that is nuts totally nuts so pretty cool Pretty cool, but I again, not the hits we want. We wanted a Full Art Cynthia, but that's fine. Beggars can't be choosers. That would be insane if we'd gotten a Full Art Cynthia. I really just like all the Full Art support. Even like a Full Art Gardenia or something would be cool, but okay, that's insane. There we go. That is nuts. Full Art Leafeon and a dark ride that is crazy oh my gosh we are up to like seven eight nine hits out of these ultra prism packs that is nuts that's crazy some fantastic pulls this opening gosh finishing things off strong here with these ultra prism rips combined with those early shining legends pulls i am just in disbelief can't believe it that is it. So we ended up getting nine hits out of the Ultra Prism. That double pack hit with the Leafeon and the Dark Eye was totally insane. We got the Mewtwo. We got the Zorark GX, the Shining Genesect. We've got a ton of super dope hits out of today's digital collection video. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos in our playlist as well as sub to the channel. Check out the competitive channel as well if you got some time so you can watch me and all my buddies play games in the trading card game. If you want to learn how to play, it's a perfect place to learn how to do that. Thank you all for watching. Peace.